Jacqueline Fogarty, campus celebrity. Today we're going to focus on another celebrity, Jeff Ash. Father, husband, teacher, on-air talent, and celebrity. When did you get your first break in television? My first break in television was in 1982. I was working at WCAU Radio. We were in the same building with Channel 10. And uh, Al Meltzer, who was the sports director at the time at Channel 10, came down the hallway and said to me one day, would you like to be our sports producer on the weekends? Because we had known each other for a few years. And I said, sure, what does that mean? And that was my big break. Why did you leave Channel 10? Because of burnout. Uh, I had been doing the same thing for uh, 14 years and an opportunity came along for me to get involved in a smaller business and have some equity in, in a company and it was I was 40 years old and it was just time for me to leave. So what's next on your list of things that you want to do in your career? Well it's funny because I talk to a lot of students obviously because I'm a teacher but also whenever I go out and do any kind of public speaking I always tell people I'm 46 years old I still don't know what I want to be when I grow up. I, I enjoy so many things. I love teaching. I love being on the radio. I love being on TV. Uh, I love production. So uh, I guess I'm just fortunate that I've got to do a little bit of everything. Um, whatever comes along next, who knows? Would you go back on television again? Sure. If, if the right opportunity came along, I would definitely go back on the air and TV. Uh, unfortunately, our industry is, is such that uh, the younger you are, the better you are, because the cheaper you work, I don't know how else to say that, uh, they would rather hire somebody 26 years old than somebody 46, year old be, uh, 46 years old because uh, they could pay that person a lot less money than they would have to pay me. What is your connection with the Three Stooges? I, I don't want to name drop, but uh, Charles Barkley is a friend of mine. And, and Charles came on my radio show on, on WCAU radio, I don't know, 15 years ago, 12 years ago, whenever it was and he stayed for three hours. By the third hour, I'm running out of questions to ask him. So I say, Charles, who's your favorite stooge? So he said, well, I like Curly. So I said, well, I, I like Curly too, but Larry's my favorite. Now, Woods, Tarzan, cut it out. Come on. Because he's from Philadelphia. We went to the same high school, Central High School, and I think he's just really underrated. And I said, as a matter of fact, his sister is still alive and lives in Northeast Philadelphia. So anyway, to make a long story longer and more boring, the next day at work, the phone rings, and I go, sports, this is Jeff. Uh, Jeff, this is Lila Budnick, Larry Fine's sister. I was listening to you and Charles Barkley yesterday on the air, and I just wanted to let you know that I live in Glenside, not northeast Philadelphia. And from that moment on, and this is a true story, from that moment on, uh, Lila and I became buddies. She invited me to the Three Stooge convention up in Trevos. Um, and uh, she introduced me to her husband, Nate, who was in charge of all their sound effects. And we just had a great time for the next few years. I would go to the Three Stooge convention every year. And um, unfortunately, uh, uh, she passed away within the last year. She was like 85 years old or something. But just a really neat lady. And uh, her and her husband really told some great Three Stooge uh, stories. Um, and I had been a Three Stooge fan since I was a little kid. I just thought they were really funny. That really yeah. is awesome. True story. Okay, now we have another question. What do you think about M&M? Well, I like the regular ones, not the peanut ones. <laughs> oh, oh, the, the singer. Oh, the singer. Oh, I'm sorry. I was going to say the red ones get on my hands. I hate when that happens. I don't, I, I, I don't get it. I, I, You know, there are a lot of things. I, I think I'm, for 46, I think I'm pretty cool. But for some reason, I just don't get them. I, I, I don't know what the attraction is. Everybody says he's really hot looking and he's really, really good at what he does. I, I just don't see it. Are you married? Finally, after 39 years, I found Miss Wright Stein and uh, got married. Uh, we've been married now. If it, if it lasts till next June, it, it'll be eight years. So, wow. yeah. You have kids? Uh, yes, I have a, a two year old, a four year old, and a 35 year old. The two and the four-year-old are great. It's the 35-year-old I've been trying to get rid of. That's my wife. <laughs> okay, the ladies here and some of the fellows here would like to know, do you wear boxers or briefs? I like to wear briefs because I just like to, to feel tight. I just, you know, keep, keep the boys nice and tight. <laughs> also, 
although I know that some people like to wear boxers because they like the freedom. I, I like, you know, I like to know where they are every second. Thanks, Jeb. My pleasure. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I can't wait to see this. <laughs> Come on in when you want to shoot some B-roll. Okay. Sweet. Hey, it's my class. How many people are in there? <laughs> Sorry, I was just being interviewed for TV. <laughs> Goodbye. Two trailer parts.